Have you ever wanted to create a website for yourself or your business or for someone else? But if you've searched it on Google, it's going to pop up that you need to learn HTML. And you don't know anything about HTML, you go and search up HTML and it's a bunch of code. It's a coding language. Well, you don't have that time to learn that language and make your own website. Well, I'm here to help you with that. In this video, I will be showing you how to create your own website without any HTML or CSS knowledge. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so there's a link in the description below that leads to this site right here. It's called Weebly and it's a website creating website um basically yeah it hosts websites for you and you can basically create cool stuff and the best part it does not require any so there are numerous things like these weebly swix and yolo and many more but i recommend you using weebly if you're a starter and don't have any knowledge about creating website because weebly has very nice interactive templates and it's very user friendly compared to wix.com I find this one useful and myself I personally use it and I have a premium membership for this and yeah it's pretty worth it so once you get into this page you need to basically sign up for Weebly if you have an account log in but if you don't just create one here or you can basically just sign up with Google okay after you sign up it will redirect you to this page so basically you need to select which type of website you want to be creating because if you do this to search and find very interactive templates for your site related to that topic so I'll be just showing you an example of a personal website now here you want to type the name of your site I'll just name my site as no HTML it doesn't matter you can even skip this step but I recommend you do not because I don't know I just yeah after that now you need to select your template this is the main part because this is where you'll be like creating your website off of building off of the, some template um, this is a very important step and you need to choose this correctly so basically for personal they have these templates but if you're a premium member if you sign up for premium you can just click on this button and sign up for premium it's I guess nine dollars for each month but it's pretty worth it and they'll have some more templates for you guys and stuff but I'll be just choosing this one click on preview and you should see the website main page now just click on start editing and now it creates your site this is the place where you build your website this is called the builder for Weebly so yeah this very this is the part where it's very user friendly okay now it asks you for choose your, choosing your website domain now if you don't know to create a website you need to have a domain and domains are not free guys never because it it takes up so many resources to put it on air on the internet and you have to pay for it there's no way of getting it for free if you have if you know some you can do that but I recommend you using a subdomain at the first because you can change your website name URL if you don't like it in the future and after you you fixed that this was gonna be permanent you can then change it over to a new domain so first I suggest you doing a subdomain instead of registering a domain and if you already have a domain register you can just click on this button and it'll lead you to steps which you can do to transfer your domain to Weebly and build it there so okay after you got a web a domain which is free available so you basically just click on continue and now it saves your name under that domain so no one else can take it okay after you have registered your domain now the main part creating your website I know you must be very excited you do not need any HTML knowledge for this but it is really recommended you do study like the basic HTML before creating but hey it's even it even works if you don't know about it so yeah let's get started so as you can see I chose a pretty normal team because I'm just like showing you guys how this website is functional so I just chose a normal simple team and basically you these are the pages for this thing and you need to change them like 
to your wish, you have to build it off of this template. Basically, not copying it, just changing the things inside it. If you want a new, web, if you want a new web page for your website, just go to the Pages tab in the top and click on Plus. And now you can make a blog page or an external page or a non-clickable menu and a standard page. Well, standard page is the main thing here, so just name it whatever you want. I'll be naming it test. It doesn't matter. And click on done. And now if you go there, you see there's a new page called test. And it's pretty empty if you observe it. So yeah, this is the home page. Yeah, you can basically like look into it and see what to change and basically get an idea about your website. Okay, now what you want to do is basically you can ch like change. First thing, first thing you want to do is delete all the text here because this is a template and you do not want these off topic sentences over here. If you want to delete, if you don't want to add any text here, you can just simply delete this text box. Click on delete and you can always add it later. So don't, don't worry about it. You can always add another text box. Okay, after you have removed all the text boxes and the stuff you don't want and need, so basically the next part is changing the header. For some websites, the header is going to be horizontal. For mine, it's vertical for some reason because of the template. I'm, I guess because it's of the template, but it doesn't matter. You'll have a header and it, it is usually an image. And if you want to change it, just click on it change image and you can import upload your own image well I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna waste my time and basically I'm, I'll be just choosing this one I feel this one's pretty topic related <laughs> I don't know why but you can basically like zoom it in you can blur it You can darken the image if you want light color text basically like that you can even add filters but I'll be not going in depth about them and now you can save to all pages like whatever page you go the same image is gonna be there if you don't want you can just click on save to on this page and later customize it now as you see here it says drag elements here so the elements are these things you have title, text, image, gallery, slideshow, map, contact form, newsletter form, button, and embed code. Embed code is literally the main thing here because if you know HTML, you'll understand why because you can add some animations and stuff with the HTML code. You can add to this thing. And this is a section, divider, spacer, which basically like creates a box. This thing creates a box and it is new apparently. And this one divides two text boxes, like basically creates a line. And this one gives space between each text box. If you see a lightning symbol like this for HD video and audio, it means that you need to upgrade to a premium membership. And for if you click on upgrade, it, it explains you about the membership plans you have right now. As you see, like you can just click on performance and you can see the rates business pros starter I recommend you using starter if you're like a new guy I'm using this right now and yeah it's pretty beneficial because it includes a one-year free domain which basically you get a free domain for one year that's pretty cool um, yeah that's it but I'm not gonna be buying again before just the sake of this video <laughs> and if you go here you can see there's a search box code social icons if you don't know social icons are very important for your audience because they'll get to know you if you add some twitter instagram snapchat youtube and stuff like that and basically you can conduct a survey and google adsense this one is another main feature because with this you can earn money from your website based on the audience you get and yeah basically this allows you to keep ads in your website okay so I'll be just making a sample website now so I'll be, if you want to do that just drag that element there 
and you can just type and text does this because like it's a basically smaller font version and um, you can basically this is what an image does so if you click there you can upload an image from your computer or you can like basically search the Weebly database Weebly's database for images and yeah you can even enter the image URL for the image thing so yeah basically there's gonna be an image similar to this right here and if you like instead of uploading a single picture with the gallery option you can upload many pictures like each picture is gonna be like divided so basically it's gonna look neater if you want to add multiple photos and yeah if you don't want to lose the picture size the slideshow option is the best option for you because you know slideshows right they just basically switch to another image on a certain period of time so basically you select your type of slideshow and basically drag all the photos you want here if you want to like keep it background image just click on it click on edit background as you see for the video if you want to keep a background video you need a premium membership and I find that option pretty cool because you can pretty much have a video on the background playing so basically I'll be just adding an image like that and if you don't know you cannot change this create a free site with Weebly because if you click on change it's gonna ask you for it's gonna ask you for pretty much upgrading it because it's the footer and you can't change it so if you want like no one to notice it you basically just add a bunch of stuff above it so this is what a button does you can change the text and basically link it to some web page or your uh, you on another page like that option is pretty cool too and yeah embed code which I was talking about is pretty much the most important thing because here if you type in HTML code it basically adds that HTML code there that that's pretty cool and you can basically have animations and stuff and the section thing what it does is it basically creates a section another section which you can add and it basically edit another background like if you want different backgrounds you can basically do that oh. and the divider option what it does is basically creates a line to separate usually text boxes but I find it annoying um, if you have images in the background and yeah spacer it basically creates space that's what this does actually just it's like blank space yeah um you have you can even embed YouTube videos here like they even have a tutorial on how to do it like right here if you just click on play it's gonna explain you how to insert a YouTube video on your website and in the media section you have HD video and this you can add documents, flash, and a file. You can upload a file here, and if they click on it, it's gonna download. And e-commerce, if you wanna, if you want a business site, you can basically do this and drag the thing called products, and you can basically add products here, where your customers can see it and buy them. Well, I recommend you getting premium membership before actually building your business thing, because there are so many business features in the premium subscription thing that is very useful and yeah basically you can have a code and form surveys and a feed reader apparently so yeah and if you notice there's another thing called apps where you can download apps for your website basically what this does it promotes social forms and yeah this is this basically analyzes how many views you're getting how many well, wait, where's your audience coming from which country and stuff like that this creates forms yeah basically stuff like that 
And if you go here, you can basically change your team if you don't like it already. You can basically change, and even you can import a team if you have one. And yeah, you can change fonts and options. If you go to the store, you'll find all the options here, which is similar. And you can buy stuff from Weebly. And yeah, basically put them up on your on your website. Go to settings. You can if if you want to change your like site address, you can like go to settings and click on change, and you can basically change it again. I register for a new domain. And you can change your title, site category, whenever you want. I find this feature is pretty interesting. And the best part is, if you want no one to see it except you and your family or friends, you can even create a password, which is required for them, for the viewer or the audience to basically see your website. You can even set up Facebook share, a simple chat, which basically, I find simple chat very interesting because if your viewers have some kind of problem or if, if you're having a business website this is a must-have feature for your website because if they run into some problems contact you by sending messages with real-time customer support and yeah it's basically good and yeah here you can set up your time zone and stuff and yeah basically that's it for the beginners actually there's so much more to learn if you want to make a website, but basically this is it. If you wanna, if you, the first thing you need to have is patience and a little bit knowledge of HTML. I'm not saying you have to study like the whole concept, but basically a little bit is enough actually. And yeah, basically I just made this website in like five minutes and it it's pretty okay for five minutes and if you're done editing your website just click on publish and it's gonna publish your site and if you click on it it's gonna redirect you to your website I named it no HTML needed .weebly.com so basically this is it as you see the, I said you the footer you can not change it so if you don't want them to see the footer basically like just add elements before the footer so the footer goes down and they have to scroll down to actually see it I know this website is not good but yeah I made it like literally in five minutes well it usually takes up to five days to make a website professional website and yeah I, I made my website with Weebly yeah I just made it in like one day so it looks shabby too and basically this is how my website looks it's pretty cool this is the header and yeah if you click here uh, I just redirect you to my youtube channel and I embedded a youtube video basically these are my like these are like my pages and stuff like that And yeah, with the embed code thing, I included this thing. As you can see, this is very helpful, the embedded code. Because with that, I made my discus chat, which is pretty helpful. And yeah, these are the social icons you can add. So people, like, if they want to know your Twitter, you can just click there and redirect you to their Twitter. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Make sure you hit smash that like button. Let's see if we can hit 50 likes. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't.